Hi, in this episode, we're going to show you how to select case data and article and related article information to show on your documents. So your use case can be that you might want to send out uh, documents to your, uh, uh, to your customer, in this case, Jeff English, so uh, to give an overview of all of the articles that might solve his problem. Okay, let's go uh, and see how we go about that. We have, of course, our case details, and we have already two articles linked to solve the, uh, the question from our customer, Jeff. Our um, articles, they are uh, standard articles, standard knowledge in Salesforce. So they have a, certain, a couple of fields, but they have one special field. This is an, uh, a custom field that we have added with the URLs to our online knowledge information. So uh, our article will look like this, a very simple one, our knowledge article. And I will just already tell you this identifier here in the top bar, knowledge underscore underscore KAV, is a very important uh, piece of information for us to get this information on, uh, on the screen here that we want to show in our document. Cool, let's start. Let's start with showing you the document that we want to create. This is our, um, our template that we will use. And you can download this template from our, uh, from our website. So uh, just under the Academy. And uh, it has some basic information, the contact name, the created date, but most importantly, we're gonna repeat this line for every article that uh, is linked to our case. Okay, let's get started. And the first thing to do is create some data sources. Okay, gonna take a type Sokol. It's gonna be called Academy dash case data. It's gonna be a single because we're gonna select one uh, one case, so it's a single object. And of course, we're going to use the Sokol builder to create our query. Okay, filter on case. This will just take two seconds uh, for the filtering to, uh, to complete. It's a long list of objects, that's why, and the case is there. And now just let's add some fields. We always need to start with adding the case ID or the ID of any record that we want to select or any object that we want to uh, filter. So we're gonna add the case, then it's gonna be the created date. And we also needed some contact information. So I'm gonna follow the relation, the lookup toward the contact, and gonna select the full name, for instance, on our contact. Okay, all the fields selected. Let's add the where class. The case ID must be equal to our current record. So let's add that, it's added. And now we have a perfect circle. Okay, that's one step. And now the second step is more tedious. It's not that uh, straightforward. We cannot use the uh, Sokol Builder to select the information from um, the article. So still we're gonna create a new Sokol uh, query and we're gonna call it Academy Case Articles. Okay, it's not gonna be a single object. It's gonna be a list of objects. Okay. And if we query this one, you will see that uh, now the SQL Builder Managed field is unchecked. Make sure it's unchecked uh, because of uh, this object here, knowledge underscore underscore KAV. It's not a standard uh, object in Salesforce. It's not acting like a standard object in Salesforce. It's uh, doing special things and yeah, the Sokol Builder uh, cannot find out uh, or, uh, or it's impossible to find out all of the fields that are currently sitting in there. That's why we just have to write very quickly our own Sokol. Okay, I've already prepared the Sokol, of course. So uh, you can just copy paste this Sokol from the YouTube movie. It's gonna be in the uh, uh, description of the YouTube movie. And what this Sokol will actually do is uh, very simple. It will select all of the fields I need. And you can see also our custom field is there from knowledge underscore underscore KAV. And which knowledge KAV records it will select? All of the ones that are linked to my uh, to my case. So I'm gonna select case article and gonna collect, collect all of the knowledge articles that are linked to my case by uh, filtering on the record ID of the case I'm currently on. 
So this is going to select all of the records I need from my case. Let's double check where ID in. Okay, this looks perfect. Save it. And that's our data. So now the next step is the easy step. It's a .config creation, main Word document. Next, Academy, service, service case. And I'm just going to take this as a document title as well. It's for testing purposes, so I do not want to say store any information. So I'm going to take base64 here. Otherwise, my storage will be uh, v uh, full very quickly. And let's go to the PDF better configuration screen. OK, first step here, upload our document. So Ola, this is the wrong one. And let's take the document. Le we have to give it a, 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 a name. So let's. I'm going to give it the uh, English name, so let's indicate this is an English document. Uh, uh, when you, there's only one uh, document alternative, then of course this is not very important. And now add my data sources, uh, case data. Okay, and next up is case articles. All of the information is there. And then we can just start configuring the filling of the information in our document. Contact name, add a config type single okay the academy data uh, data source contact name the merge field um, the date time opened it's the create time that i'm going to use for that one and create a date i'm going to take the out of the box formatting um yeah why not let's uh, just for uh, to keep this time this this video as short as possible and then the coolest thing that we're going to do today is we're going to show all of the article information. Okay, we need to tell the system to repeat this row. So first of all, I'm going to copy this merge fields and I'm going to use it to identify the row. I'm going to make the type table row. Data source is going to be my case articles. So all of the articles I have selected. The article title. And the merge field can be none because I'm going to replace it. Let's go to this uh, article. And from now on, I'll, I actually want to tell the system that for every row, it's going to fill in some uh, some fields. The article title is going to be the title, of course, and the merge field, this one. And then for the article URL, I want to do something cool. I actually want to show a URL instead of just our uh, link printed out. Uh, the type I'm going to put to link. Yes, I want a custom label. I want the label to be the URL name of our article. And if we go and take a look, the URL name is in this case CPQ. And the article link is this one. So the URL name is going to be there and the URL field is going to be the uh, link to the article. Article URL, the merge field. OK, save to server. Everything checks out. No errors. So let's go and create this document. Everybody knows that's working with PDF Butter that he has to copy the ID from the uh, URL here. Then we go to our uh, case edit page. And I have the uh, uh, PDF Better Lightning component already on my page. So I'm just going to take this one, fill in our ID, save it. And you can already see the ID is there. And let's go back. So everything should be OK. Let's click the button. And the button should show uh, Jeff English. Our, our date, and of course, most importantly, that two articles are related to this uh, case. Click the button. That was very fast. That's what we expect from PDF Butler, of course. So, and indeed, this is the information I would expect. So I have my contact name, Jeff English, the open date, and then the two articles that are related, and they are clickable, so if I click on them, they will just open up the academy, as you can see, in the Get Started. So if I go back, I'm going to open up the PDF because I already down also downloaded it. And we're going to do the same thing for the CPQ. And I'm going to tell this open it in a new uh, page. So looks perfect. Huh? Looks uh, exactly what I, uh, what I expected from the system to do. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, looking good. Um, 
the document as I expected. Any cases, you can just uh, point out to info at pdfbutter.com. If you're already a customer, you can ask uh, information via support at pdfbutter.com and we will be uh, very helpful on uh, supplying all the information for your questions. Thank you very much.